Mr. Kamerson, and now I would like to ask Professor Rosenhagen, the president of the German Meteorological Society. So, thank you very much. This is very something special for me. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, I would like to welcome you on behalf of the German Meteorological Society uh, on this event of the 10th Annaberg Climate Days. So these Annaberg Climate Days are something very special. So it's already the 10th time that climate researchers come together here so in this area. So it's not a very central area, but uh, the people can exchange uh, their opinions and experiences. And so that's why I'm very happy to be here as a co-organizer. So just some brief words about the German Meteorological Society. So we promote meteorological uh, research and we distribute meteorological knowledge by publishing. Unfortunately, we not of this book that Professor Machelet uh, showed you before. It was the German Weather Service, but other uh, scientific publications, uh, magazines, and uh, cal calendars, meteorological calendars with uh, special titles, special topics. So some of you maybe know this. Uh, we organize events, uh, colloquium conferences, uh, presentations uh, throughout Germany, uh, bigger conferences, uh, also with our sister societies in Austria and in Switzerland. And we support and promote also events. And that's why we contribute also to this uh, conference. I would like to thank our board member, Falk Böttcher, and who is also in charge of the finances. And so if you need more information, you can look at this leaflet. And if you want to become a member of the society, this is also possible. It was not very long ago that climate was the statistic analysis of weather conditions in a, different, in a certain area, in a certain time period, but this changed some years ago or some decades ago. Uh, they thought that uh, the human person has some influence on the climate change. And so uh, this uh, topic was changed because we were looking at future climate conditions. And observation data were not so important anymore. But now we know that both aspects are important, meteorology, meteorology and also the observation data. So uh, by the past weather, we can calculate models for future uh, weather conditions, and we need this to validate results and so on. And also future changes uh, must be evaluated by the measured data. And so the 100th anniversary that we celebrated yesterday of the Fischelberg uh, weather station uh, is very important. So thank you very much for uh, this reliable data. We know that the climate change uh, shows uh, different consequences in the regional aspect. So the district administrator uh, talked about this. So uh, the changes in the global means are different than in regional aspects. And so the climate days um, have a regional aspect and they refer to Germany and Saxony. So it's a great program. Thank you very much uh, to the organizers of this uh, conference uh, for this interesting agenda. So we look forward to the next days to the 
various uh, scientific program and on behalf of the German Meteorological Society I wish you uh, good discussions, interesting uh, information and uh, many success in the climate in the future. Thank you very much.